Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. It looks like the WBC will order Danny Swift Garcia versus Showtime Sean Porter. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the super chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now it's looking like we're going to get a WBC battle of the mandatories for Keith Thurman's title. Now, there was some weird news that came out, I think earlier this year, and the WBC that Keith Th WBC said that Keith Thurman had two mandatories, both Sean Porter and Danny Garcia, which was weird. And then after Danny Garcia knocked out Brandon Bam Bam Rios, he shot up past Sean Porter, which was also weird because Sean Porter, to my knowledge, I covered his last two fights, and to my knowledge, he was fighting in these eliminators to be the number one contender. He fought Andre Berto, stopped him. And then he fought Adrian Granados, battled a hand injury. But I thought he was kind of the first one to convincingly beat beat Granados. You know, I mean, Granados had some other fights where guys like Broner had, had a tough time with them. I thought Sean Porter clearly won. I was at those fights. And then they updated the rankings in the WBC. Had Danny Garcia, upon beating Brandon Rios, placed higher than Sean Porter. Now it's looking like they're going to order a mandatory scenario where the number one and number two Garcia and Porter face each other, which is music to my ears. Shout out to ESPN Deportes. The link is in the description. This is what the president, Mauricio Suleiman, had to say. Unfortunately, Keith Thurman has been injured again. It's very unfortunate. Thurman cannot continue as a champion. He has not defended the title for more than a year. We had been consistent with him after the injury he had, but with the new injury, it is very possible that the fight is ordered for the interim title between Sean Porter and Danny Garcia, who are the two mandatory challengers. So interesting news here. I don't know if they would strip Keith Thurman or if they're just gonna make the interim and then either way, he's gonna have to fight probably the winner of that fight at some point. A lot of people are getting frustrated with Keith Thurman. They wonder and question is, is his hunger still there? I mean, it seems like I'm not trying to talk down on anyone but Keith Thurman is supposed to fight Sean Porter then he said he was in a car accident then he fights Danny Garcia unification everything's on the up and up then he reveals this elbow injury no one knew about then he gets married and domesticated then he's street fighting in Nepal then he's supposed to come back at the first first half of um, 2018 they were saying like January February March is March ish and then they said May, and then May was supposed to come. We never heard who Keith Thurman was fighting. And then now he says he's injured again and he can't fight May 19th. So I think this is the right call from the WBC. We don't really need two mandatories. They should fight, fight for the interim title, consolidate that. So Keith Thurman, by the time he's better, if you don't strip him or whatnot, he has one person he needs to fight. And it's a great fight. It's a 50-50 fight. Danny Garcia does extremely well against guys who are kind of come forward, come into his wheelhouse. He's a counter puncher. Very good timing. He displayed that in the fight with Brandon Rios. Caught him with a beautiful counter. Brandon Rios is known for taking headshots. Pause. He's known for being able to accept that and have a chin, right? The only person that stopped him was Tim Bradley, and that's because he got work to the body. And, and we, we, who knows what... He was doing it in his offseason. He was coming off a long layoff. But usually the headshots from Diego Chavez to Manny Pacquiao to Mike Alvarado Wars, Brandon Rios, he could he could take shots on the chin, on the button. But Danny Garcia, again, great timing. That's one of his best assets, counter puncher. But then you look at Sean Porter. Sean Porter's a different animal. He's athletic. He's very rugged, very rough, very strong. He'll like bull and burrow his way in on the inside. And he might not give you that much time to think. He, he might come in, like even the Berto fight. I was at the fight. He's just rugged. Berto was complaining about head, head butts and stuff. He, Sean Porter don't care nothing about that. He's still coming in. And, and the ref 
if if the ref is not breaking up the action or whatever, he's in there trying to work. Great fight, 50-50 fight. I want to see it. Garcia versus Porter. I think this is the right move from the WBC because two mandatories is just ridiculous. Keith Thurman's already stalling out the process because he's constantly not in good health and injured. And he took a long layoff and surgeries and getting married and dates canceled and car accidents. So the welterweight division needs needs uh, some action. We You know what I mean? We can't just wait for like if Keith Thurman's on some Mr. Glass, on Mr. Glass from Unbreakable, you know what I mean? Some people say the Derrick Rose of, of boxing, if that's his situation right now, I think it's not fair for the Errol Spences, the Sean Porters, Danny Garcia, guys who are at the top and they can never get a shot to unify or never get a shot in a big, big fight because one person's kind of holding up the process. So I like this. I don't know if Keith Thurman will get stripped. It didn't really say in this particular interview, but I, I do like the idea of consolidating two mandatories and having them fight for a WBC interim title at welterweight. I do like that. And Sean Porter jumped in the ring on Danny Garcia. So there's already a little bit of backstory, something you can use in the buildup when Showtime's doing their production. You can use stuff like that in the buildup to show that. There's also interviews where Danny Garcia, this is years ago, was saying he's not really impressed by Sean Porter and stuff. So they all, they already kind of have a backstory for the last couple of years. Let me know what you guys think. What should happen to Keith Thurman? Should he get stripped? Or should he, we just wait for him to be injured and, and get better? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. But I like this because I think two guys want a Keith Thurman rematch. This will solidify who's next in line for that rematch. Shout out to WBC. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Fight fans, make sure you copy your tickets to this year's Box Fan Expo. It's going down May 5th, 2018, only in Las Vegas. I'm going to be there. We got a ton of great boxers going to be there. You don't want to miss this. There is a link in the description so you can purchase your tickets right now. Hopefully, I see you guys there. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.